Welcome back to Horizon 2 Forbidden West 1.24 Burning Shores and my careful ultra hard let's play and uh, we are past the Burning Shores part I'm just wanting to get the, all the skills for the trophy and uh, that's why I'm uh, two skill points short so I'm going to uh, try to get them here from the uh, hunter's um, hunting ground. It's not completely uh, clear, but I think I might get two points if I get all the uh, full marks on the three things here. Right now it's raining like crazy. So uh, let's prepare and um, if I can't get them here Just when things were beginning to feel dull around here you arrive hunter Are you here to take on my trials hunter Yes Just need the uh, smoke bombs Looking to improve your hunt. Tools, smoke bombs. Thank you. Are, are there anything else I need here? That's not it. Ammo crafting. Uh, there's a new thing. Uh, in the burning shores I didn't know about that uh, you can actually um, craft beyond the limit and the re remaining arrows or ammunition will go to the stash you don't have to uh, you, that means that uh, if I uh, do one crafting here that would be four arrows just got place for one more so that means that uh, now the three extra arrows will go to a stash instead so I don't have to be uh, careful about that anymore that's a good thing I would wish that all of those uh, things I could craft would be in the start, but I might be able to do that by filtering. Lots of things you can filter. Okay. I should be ready there, I think. Looking to strengthen your hunting skills, Outlander? Don't need any of those. Not going to use that. Just when things were beginning to feel dull around here, you arrive, Hunter. Hi. Alright, let's try this one. Uh, it might be a bit hard, but... Um... Are you here to take on my trials, Hunter? I might just uh, wait till the morning. I don't want to. Uh... This might be good enough, but uh, I prefer to do it in the clear weather. All right, so uh, let's just uh, do this uh, easily. If I can't. I should get it by um, getting the top marks on this hunting ground. If I can't do it, I might try uh, one of the other ways by uh, melee pits. 
or arena I, I haven't done those because um, I, I prefer not to use um, uh, time constrained uh, trials Alright, so now I'm ready. I got this Looking thing. Strengthen your hunting skills, Outlander. Do I need this Sun King's Delight? Let's see. Uh, it's um, this thing. It's Valor Search. Don't think. Uh, let's start with trial. Let's get you started. Silent Loading Trial Load supply crates without alerting or uh, damaging any machines And uh, I'm going to try to do this um, Hardless At least to start Just slide down a rope to start I look forward to seeing you compete uh, Okay Load supply caches doesn't say exactly how many. Free supply supply caches. Harm. Do I really want this uh, heartless? Uh, it's one layer there. It's uh, one over there and one there. might be unnecessary hard to do it uh, completely heartless but uh, let's see it should be on the other side there Machines. Where yeah, there you are. Where are the thing? Can't see it. Okay, here it is. I might have to do this again. <laughs> there you go. Back to what you were doing. Right. Okay, so uh, what um, I, I'm not exactly sure of the time, but this uh, was uh, can do it again if it just wasn't fast enough. Let's see, where am I going? Up here. Yeah. 
here. Aren't always the greatest hunters, but they're usually decent with a bow. I see you live up to the stories, Outlander. Okay, it was fast enough. Good then. Uh, I. Uh, since I got, doesn't have a heart, it's a bit uh, hard to uh, see where to go. Okay, that's the first trial. Let's get the next one. Uh, right. Silent Strike trial. Kill machines using Silent Strike and Strike from above. Uh, to remain uh, undetected. Yeah, that strike from a bow, it's uh, a bit hard to time right, especially if you don't have a prompt. Uh, but it should be doable. Kill machines using solid strike and strike from a bow remain undetected. Use tall grass, smoke drums and smoke bombs to stay hidden. Red indicator means a machine has spotted you. Um, use silent strike to uh, take out machines without calling attention to yourself. Using strike from above to kill and war, um, machines will count towards your goal. Yeah. Right. And do that in uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Yes, let's do that. One of my best trials. Just use any rope to jump in, and I'll start time. Can I get my one additional of this? Ah. Right, so I need to kill three machines. And the problem could be to actually find them. Acid ammo will make this go quick. So I, I can't use the, since I don't have world markers, I can't get the uh, I can't have the triangle that marks them, but I can use uh, this type of highlighting to uh, get them uh, show up more clearly. So that would make that makes it a little bit clearer. Where are you? That should be enough. It wasn't perfect, but uh, um, yeah. Let's get up here. This is for you. Full stripes. Good. Thank you. Continue. And the third one, a uh, silent gliding trial. That's um, might be a bit harder. Silent Gliding trial. Use the shield wing to glide undetected over machines and kill them from above. Yeah. 
Okay, hold to deploy the shield wing while in mid-air, while gliding, hover over an unalerted machine and tap R1 to kill it. Uh, when in range of a grapple point, jump and quickly type uh, X to, while in the air to use it. Yeah, okay, uh, use grapple points to launch into the air and deploy your shield wing. Glide undetected. Alright, so yeah, this one is pretty hard. I might use the. I wonder if I could use um, my um, flying mount to do this. I, I think that it might get spotted, so maybe not. And. Uh, Let's see, I haven't used my value search yet, so uh, I could use that to make it a bit easier. That might be a good uh, use of it now. Just slide down a rope to start. I look forward to seeing you compete. As it started raining again. Alright, might do the same thing as last time, but now I should do it from the height, which means uh, I might uh, do this thing. I don't know how to do this easily. I, I'm not, uh, this is not the type of thing I, I usually do, so this is a bit harder for me. Um, Kill two machines, alright, I don't need three. But, uh, okay, that didn't count. I uh, messed that up. That count, right? It went much easier now uh, than before. Good. I think we did it. I was afraid that would be uh, harder, but uh, ah, it was. You've got skills. You earned yourself a prize. I believe this is yours. Try completed. Full stripes, and uh, grand full stripes. Yay! Grand half stripe and grand full stripes. Let's see if we get our uh, skill points from this. You know where to find me. Just when things were beginning to feel dull around here. You arrive, Hunter. Right. Are you here to take on my trials, Hunter? I got to die. Oh, it seems that I actually got the skills. Nice. So, um, it might be enough for, um, 
getting the trophy and if that's the case I like to um, just go back here uh, since it's a burning shores uh, thing uh, let's uh, do it where it all began Just um, take the opportunity to speak with the uh, commander here and see if uh, anything has changed. My paints are a form of art, nothing less. Hi. Did you get in contact with uh, our tribe? With our crew return, we can start thinking about escaping these shores again. Thank you. Nice. Okay, let's try this man. Skills. And the last one here, upgrade. I think I did it. And this is, uh, no, that's not it. Let's get to the notebook. Burning Shores progression. Um, quadrants, Relic Ruins. It might be the arena that's left. I'm not sure. But anyway, I got all the skills. What's? Uh, let's check just the trophies. Okay, sorry, I, I um, went to check the trophy. So this was the last trophy I got. I'm back at my 100%. Uh, so that would be uh, a conclusion for uh, this uh, playthrough. Um, yeah. Good. I have gear for the wilds if you need. Thank you. There are some uh, hidden uh, caches around uh, the shores that I uh, have missed, uh, but uh, there's nothing uh, big. Nothing big left uh, as uh, far as I can. Uh, as far as I know. So. Uh, this would be it. Um, I could finish up by just um, summarize uh, some of the things. Uh, I, I know that this uh, let's play is very narrow. It's um, not many people. There's not many of you who actually would like to see this type of thing. Uh, it's very long. I. Uh, 
have taken my time to uh, do this. Let's see. Body pose. Oh no, it's inside the... <laughs> I can't do this. Oh well. It's a field of flower anyway. Yeah, so um, it's uh, not many people who want to uh, see a 60 hour uh, let's play. There's not much many people who wants to do it while walking and not sprinting or um, listening to my uh, a comparably emotionless voice or uh, you know I'm not a uh, streamer I'm not a, the best uh, radio voice and uh, you may not be interested in the things I'm talking about uh, and so on so uh, not lots of people have uh, uh, maybe are interested in all the things that I have done but I was hoping to find at least few people who was interested and I want to uh, reiterate that uh, my original idea was to do a uh, commentary on the Horizon Zero Dawn and speak on the mythology, the technology, ecology, science, religion politics and psychology and all the things in the game design and the story, the cultures, the people and everything in it. Uh, there are so many things I want to talk about, about the Gaia sub-functions, uh, about everything that we uh, cover uh, in the Zero Dawn project, the terraforming systems, uh, the machines and how this uh, relates to the real world, it, how it relates to uh, what we actually can do to make a better future for humanity in our world, what we should do to live in harmony with nature, what we could do uh, to mitigate the risks of uh, technology, of the uh, capitalism uh, and the politics, of uh, the f way we have destroyed the nature and uh, destroyed our own uh, survival, future survivability. Uh, talk more about the uh, techno optimism. Uh, about the singularity, about the uh, what's it called, um, transhumanism, uh, and uh, the different types of society, the different uh, views of what a uh, perfect uh, or utopian society would be, the hopes for the future. Uh, what, how the society would be if the Apollo program wasn't destroyed A and everything around it. So I wanted to speak about everything in Zero Dawn, uh, beginning with the hunter-gatherer society, that's uh, the whole uh, uh, Maurer's embrace similarity to the Garden of Eden and uh, the symbology in everything around it and how uh, the hero's journey on how Aloy uh, goes out in the world and everything around it uh, more in depth in everything that we talk about the data points about uh, the things that happen in the future about basic income about the different cults and so on about silence and uh, the psychology of silence and w why he is the way he is and so on 
so uh, but I don't think I want to do it uh, unless I actually have more people or at, I want at least one person who comments and likes subscribes and contacts me and speaks about what we would actually be interested in hearing about these things if I got just one or two people who show an interest in this I think I would do it so please uh, you are the you are the thing that uh, will make the difference if uh, do you want a deep dive commentary on Horizon Zero Dawn please comment and uh, this is it for the Burning Shores playthrough this is the this was my test of the possibility to do a uh, blind new game ultra hard playthrough and do it in manner of um, permadeath I failed to survive I did some uh, stupid mistakes some of the deaths was absolutely avoidable but uh, the deaths during the last missions would be harder to avoid since that was uh, new things uh, I don't think that I would uh, be able to uh, survive the last mission uh, I think it, it's possible to survive the last mission doing it blind but uh, my personality my risk avoidance makes it much harder for me to actually do it hey you holding up okay i guess so uh, but i think it's possible and i think i did a pretty good job uh, comparing with other people who are probably much better action game players than i am but uh, they use most other people just uh, play for uh, uh, enjoyment and they like uh, getting right into the thick of things uh, and not taking them as careful as I do but I, it would be interesting to see other people if they actually manage to do this blind ultra hard I know that uh, some other people I've uh, seen playing this uh, restricted themselves to purple gear but uh, I, I restricted myself to uh, not using any new game plus gear since this is a new game pl playthrough uh, it's not new game plus and thus uh, I haven't had the chance to use any of the new game plus uh, weapons or outfits and uh, also since I uh, don't like the arena I uh, didn't have uh, most of the arena gear either so that was a similar type of limitation in my playthrough uh, and uh, as to the what I how I would rate the burning shores and forbidden west I have spoken about the things I like and doesn't like about the game I uh, absolutely love the depth of the story of Sierra Dawn and I don't think anything can come close to it I fully enjoy the graphical fidelity, the beauty, and also the animation works uh, of the, all the characters in, in the Forbidden West. They started to do a much higher quality animation in the Frozen Wilds and had continued to do it in the uh, Forbidden West and the Burning Shores, and that's beautiful. 
uh, but uh, and also liked that we uh, gave Aloy a chance to uh, get a little bit of uh, happiness and en enjoyment of uh, uh, spending time with Seika. I hope they uh, take the time to uh, get together more. Um, yeah. But I would also be happy for him for her to uh, uh, take a chance to uh, spend time together with some of the other people who uh, liked her and that she likes. So, uh, yeah, I uh, would have, um, I didn't uh, get invested and engaged in the characters and I never did get engaged in the characters in the horizon except for Silence. Silence was an interesting character, but uh, and I like Tiersa. Uh, and uh, that's uh, uh, Neil is also an interesting character. Those are the ones that uh, I'm maybe most uh, interested in. So a lot of uh, side characters uh, wasn't. Uh, as interesting to me, I I always been most interested in the concepts, and and for the Quen, I um, think that it's interesting. When I played the Zero Dawn game, I always thought that in the Forbidden West that there would be a uh, group or a tribe that would have found focuses and uh, found the technology of the past. And I thought that the masters would be that group. Uh, so in the Forbidden West we found the Quen, but it wasn't the Quen that was master, it was the Sinifs. So, uh, but we did have a Quen. Uh, uh, so I, I liked that uh, thing, the story of that and the whole, the, the whole society of it. But uh, I didn't like, uh, well, I, I didn't like the simplistic uh, view of it that uh, it is an uh, authoritarian uh, uh, society that uh, restricts knowledge and, and uh, forces people to snitch on it of each other. That's a little bit uh, simplis simplistic that she would uh, just... Uh, uh, unquestionably view it as uh, something that must be crushed. I, I think that uh, it is a good thing that uh, they would uh, let up on the restriction of uh, information. I mean, I understand the reason to keep information hidden as a way to uh, protect themselves and uh, stay uh, safe from other tribes uh, but uh, the culture it resulted in is unfortunate and bad and there needs to be a societal change uh, but to, to just uh, they should uh, acknowledge that uh, there is a point in keeping information secret there is a reason for it let me guess supervisor gave you a hard time Especially in a world where you have uh, lots of bandits and uh, tribes that would use that knowledge to, for example, override machines and uh, conquering all the neighboring tribes. Uh, if the Quen wouldn't be as restrictive of knowledge, they would quite possibly be in full war of our tribes. Uh, using the technology to uh, advance uh, war machines of all every kind 
and it would be devastating. So uh, I love Horizon franchise. I I have spoken about that. Uh, I there is so many things I uh, am super frustrating about in uh, Forbidden West, and they still aren't fixed in uh, the Burning Shores. So I love uh, Forbidden West as a continuation of the Zero Dawn but it hasn't surpassed it. And uh, it's an interesting depth with all the new tribes, but it hasn't uh, added something uh, to the parts that I love about it, except for the chance to spend more time with uh, Gaia. And yes, I, I like Gaia and I like the beta my sister. Uh, some of the companions, uh, I like their personality, but I, and uh, it, it was nice to uh, talk to them in the base, but uh, I would have li liked much more of uh, like idol animations of uh, Not, not just uh, standing in different spots in the base and uh, and uh, exhausting dialogue options. It, I would the thing we did with uh, Aaron, where we sat down, had a drink, and he talked about uh, the story about how they uh, escaped the palace or how the the sister escaped the palace. That was absolutely wonderful and I would have wanted much more things like that like partying uh, eating uh, you know just spending time around the campfire uh, and uh, getting to know each other and it, it sh just like idle animations or something that would be purely opt-in uh, like an opt-in uh, things like uh, eating together in the base or with a tenak at the campfire that's the thing that I wanted because now uh, the only way to actually immerse myself in uh, this would be to uh, go over go over to photo mode and then uh, go to the position like uh, sitting by, by the campfire or lying by the campfire so that's how I did it uh, uh, going to a campfire going to photo mode and uh, changing the position to lying down and then uh, just uh, role playing that I'm sleeping by the campfire. But just think of how much better it would be that uh, if I was idle for a minute or two by a campfire, that she actually would do lie down by it or just uh, sit and uh, cook some food or something. Yeah, so that's uh, some of the things I think about that. So, uh, please, uh, I may do, uh, this is the last video of the series, but I may do another video uh, talking about uh, the things I might want to do in the future if there is uh, more people who actually would want to uh, listen to it. So please like, comment, subscribe and uh, I might see you another time in another video. So like, let's do this.
Okay, so uh, thank you for uh, spending time with me and uh, goodbye for now.